was a close one. I think that'll do. I don't know. I my recommendation was go for the big one. I know, right? Jeez. 88 point. Yeah. Buzzer too. For now. And a rotary beacon on the back. Yeah, we got two up front here. This mm. might be a problem. What? Oh. We are looking at the top of the cab of the 9510. <laughs> and five minutes ago we just had a conversation where it will fit in the shed. Oh it'll fit, just barely. Right, we are We're uphill too. Ooh, I gotta get used to that rigid bottom step. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to the rubber one now. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Now that is a change up. So, mom and dad went on a little road trip here on one of these rain days that we had. And mom was like, you know what, let's go look at some 9770s. And dad's like, okay. And uh, they ended up in Osceola, probably butchered that, Wisconsin. And uh, they found this here, 9770. And uh, this, should definitely, this should definitely be a step up. So, as you guys know, we've been running the John Deere 9510 for roughly 10 years now. And uh, while it was a good fit for us at the time, uh, we were also milking cows at the time, because this is in 2012. And uh, half the farms were still in hay during that period. So, uh, at the time, this looked like, you know, this is a big step up. We had a 6620 before that. And um, they ran great for us the last 10 years. Haven't had any real major issues with it but it is just time to upgrade. So we've been expanding our operation, we've been picking up more acres, we've been running more, and with the 9510 there's only so much that we can do with a six row um, in a given amount of time. So we've been talking about upgrading for quite some time now, and uh, Dad finally bit the bullet and bought the 9770. So I'm glad that uh, it was a 70 series, and I'm glad that it was a 9770, because if this was the combine, I've I've been saying for the last 10 years, if we were going to upgrade, this is what we should, should upgrade to. So it has the capacity to run a 12 row head. Um, this is a huge step up from the 9510. Uh, it's got way more capacity than 
the old combine. So uh, I'm definitely excited to see it run. Uh, I'm not totally sure if we're going to see it run this fall yet, uh, depending on you know if we find any heads that are worth buying. And uh, yeah, I don't honestly know much about the 70 series. I've never seen one fired up. Uh, when we were in the combine earlier, that's the first time I've ever been in a 97 or a 70 series while it's been running. So um, not totally familiar with the differences between these two combines. Basically the cylinder is lengthwise in the combine versus in the 9510, the cylinder's up at the front, uh, right underneath the cab. So you have more space to separate the cobs from the seat from the from the corn and uh yeah it's all around just a heck of a lot more capacity so it comes with duels we're going to mount the duels on it and um depending on when we can find a head we'll we might see it in use yet this year i don't really know for sure yet um i'm okay with running the 9510 for the time being because what we have left to harvest in corn is enough for the 9510 to handle because i only have one truck and going down to Dubuque and back with the 9510 where we're going to be harvesting um, I pretty much have enough time to go down there and come back and they've been they'll be waiting for maybe 10 15 20 minutes depending on how long the line is so um, I don't see us getting a whole lot of you know a big speed boost having the new a bigger combine right now but uh, if things go as planned uh, go and get a, another truck and another trailer we can run two semis and uh, having two trucks running down the road will literally double our operating capacity on any given day. So I'm really excited to see how this thing runs, what it's like harvesting with a 12 row, because all I've ever seen is the neighbors harvest with, uh, I believe this is a class seven combine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. <laughs> One thing that dad was talking about is that the newer combines have this single point hookup right here so all your hydraulics are in one spot so on the heads they'll have a place where you can just pull this off hook it up and you're good to go you don't have to worry about a bunch of separate hoses and whatnot but uh, I tried it up at the uh, up at Mount Horeb I believe it was they had a 612 up there and it's was, it was definitely cool seeing how that works let's climb up on top shall we I can't feel my hand right now. So apparently don't do that. You gotta twist this out of the way first. Uh. <laughs> that really hurt. Uh. I'm fine, I'll be fine, probably. Ouch. Hmm. Let's have a look here. There's a lot more space up here. There's even more space up there. Holy cow. So, the setup up here is kind of similar to the 9510. You have your hydraulic motor hooked up here. Motor right there, same as the 9510. Looks like we got our engine filter. And same as the 9510. We got the radiator over here wow that's, that's really high up there wow <laughs> somebody hit something Looks like we're missing a fire extinguisher there. Fuel tanks in the back. That's different from the 9510. Uh, on that one, the fuel tanks down underneath the radiator. Design improvements. Let's put this back for Travis so that he can hit his hand there. All right. My hands actually turning purple. <laughs> Ooh. So up underneath on the left hand side of the 9770, if I pull these off, it'll expose. Let's 
cylinder underneath. So. Our cylinder's in there. That threshes the crop. It falls down through the grates and they will separate here. Anything that doesn't get past will get blown out the back. So there's your cylinder. Now provided that we can't find any heads in the short term, we're gonna to continue to use the 9510, which is why it's saying we didn't trade it off. Um, I, uh, I don't believe in really trading stuff in because in all honest opinion, typically the dealers have to get their cut so they usually shortchange you there. So I think that we can make more money selling the 9510 outright than sending it back and getting a trade-in price for it. So, I mean, it is a good combine. It's not like there are any major issues with it. Um, every combine has their thing, but we've always made sure that it ran good and you know took care of it, so. That thing's a monster. I'm excited. Are you excited? Thanks. That's the least traffic I've seen all month. Two sizes, combine sizes bigger than this one. Yeah, it's a counterweight. You get it spinning, it helps it keep going. I was saying they didn't do all the filters either. For next year, then we're gonna go through and change all them out. That's what it says so in that, did. that maintenance video. It says to change them all every year. There we go. They say it forces everything out the back end. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Well, it's all electric, so you don't have to do it manually like peasants. Ha! That's cool. Technology. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Some of these are, are jacked up. The set looks okay. That's pretty cool. I wonder if we couldn't find a way to... Uh, Mount a camera back here so you at least see what's coming out the back end. I'm sure you can. Right. Well, mounting Trust a camera, me. that's what I'm saying. Mounting a camera is one thing, but being able to see what's going on is another. Which, I don't know if the white, they must be standard, right? I'm just learning right along with the rest of you, but I like the... You remember my biggest complaint with the 9510, how when you're on hills, everything goes to the one side mm -hmm. and you can watch all the corn and beans come out the back? With this, I like that it's actually got its dedicated channels for each one. So, you know, not all that material isn't being yeah. shoved to one side. So, What's this road right here job. for? A meter. Imagine that's for stuff coming off the rear. Pretty much all the ones on the end rows are jacked up. <laughs> we can straighten them though. Put pliers. Yeah. If there's supposed to be a plate that comes down. Yeah, you're standing. Yeah, you're standing down. Oh, oh, this one here. This is what you need to remember. Okay. The problem is, is there's a plate that goes down in front of this for when you're doing corn versus beans. And if you don't put that plate down when you go to corn, because the back end is spinning that. And if you don't put that plate down, that one that Dad just put down. What happens is it throws corn cobs back onto your chaffer and it bends them out. Not all of them, just. Go move that plate again, Dad. You get in there and. Well, there. I'm gonna, we're going to have to. Just got to pick that uh, back end thing up, the plate. See so, yeah, We should be able to climb right up in there. <laughs> what needs to be replaced? Oops. And uh, the side armrest, it's got a slit right down the center of it. Replace that. There you go. Oh, and that does your pins? Mm hmm. Yep. Well, that's neat. Huh. 
No more bending over, boys. Summer was telling me the other day, he says, no matter how careful you are hooking these up, it's like once in a while you're gonna screw up more ring. I need to get a bunch of them in the parts bin then. Forward and back. Oh, that's cool. See, so so yeah, do it manually. These here. I asked him about that the other day. He said, you don't get into the automatic adjusting ones. This is 11. He said you had to get up. He said, model year 14, they started doing that. Hmm. Well, really, though, if we get it set for the bean head, I'm not afraid to put a wedge kit on the corn head again if, if that's what we need. Every fuse on, in the entire combine is right in there. Hmm. Nice I, the batteries. Master switch is very important. The battery on the ground is huge. <laughs> no more giving yourself a hernia trying to carry your battery on top of the combine. Could open that top of that bed boy with your hand. It has a, a curry bubble up over there. I actually like that. It's so the 9510, we replaced the auger in that one, what, two years ago? And it's already shot. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going through this bad boy. So the last crop I harvested is probably soybeans. Yeah, I fired it up up the other day and it was spitting soybeans out. Well, it's 14% beans at 72 bushels the acre, according to Bonder. <laughs> That's cool. But none of the corners were in. Where are the corners? I think so. I think they're in front of Travis. 300, but does that include the extension or not? Yeah, 300 without the extension. Hmm. So obviously not enough. What do we do? Get some 2x4s and some plywood and put on top of these. So that'll give you another 3 feet. We should be good. 12 row, we need a 12 row. We gotta get back to the grain cart though. Where's the Carreri thing? Does it mount to that? Kinda looks like it, doesn't it? Remember we're doing that? We're mm -hmm. on the side of it, trying to get them to line up. What? Feels like it has a lot of quality of life updates compared to the 9510. And there you have it. That is our new to us 9770 STS. So we have to play the waiting game now and uh, see if we can use it yet this fall. Um, we got an inch of rain last night and that's gonna keep us out of the field for a couple days at least. Um, they are calling for a couple days of rain here again in a couple days. So I don't imagine it's gonna dry up enough for us to harvest before the next storm comes through because an inch of rain in like 12 hours really uh, soaked, up the soaked into the ground. So. Um, we're going to do some shopping around, see if we can find a head for the 70 series, but uh, if the going's good and we can harvest, then we're going to just use the 9510 because that's there. Uh, obviously, harvesting comes first, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I know I'm excited, and I'm sure a lot of you are too. And uh, we'll have to just wait and see when we can finally use it. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.